I can't believe I'm presenting at TEDx Buffalo. Greetings. My name is Jeremy Speed Schwartz, and I'm a founding member of the League of Imaginary Scientists. So I want to tell you about how I spent my 4th of July this year. 10 square feet. Can anybody picture how large that actually is? We have a lot to be thankful for. And when we ground ourselves in that perspective, we could do amazing things. I always enjoyed sitting down, having dinner with my family. It was a great experience. I could be stronger, I can promote more things, I can do more in this world, whether it's with my family, my community, my company, or just myself. Eat dinner with your neighbors, plant a community garden together, ask about their stories, and tell them your own. The power of sound to bring us into the present moment. Every sound can be that portal. Regardless of the size of your design or the size of your footprint, um, that it really can make a difference. But socially we think of things as either artistic or scientific. We think of people as left-brained or right-brained. We tend to think of work as either meaningful or meaningless. And all of this is not true. I ask you to believe in the fantasy that us characters play in your lives. The magic and the wonder of all puppet characters. But if we can challenge ourselves and overcome the obstacles and the challenges in front of us, we can get better and we can become masters of the things that we care about. It's in asking the questions that we find our answers. It is asking the question that is the answer. And if we can keep our good minds collectively together, we could do more than we could apart. How will we be remembered? Those are the things that I would like for our generation, for everybody in this room, to think about when we think about our renaissance. It will be the things that we produce, and it will be the products that we make, the art that we put in our buildings and the magazines that we are lucky enough to make. But more so than that, it will be the fact that we are now beginning to ask ourselves, who are we? And what will we be worth to you a hundred years from now?